Welcome to Edison Open House Global Healthcare 2022. In this session, we're going to focus on the work of InMed, a company which develops and manufactures rare cannabinoids. And with me is its CEO, Eric Adams. Eric, how nice to see you. Good to see you again. Now, for people who are new to this, rare cannabinoids, what are they? Sure. Well, cannabinoids is a class of compounds, chemical compounds, that can be found in high abundance in the cannabis plant. They're found in other places in nature as well. I mean, the human body manufactures two of its own cannabinoids. Um, but you find uh, over 140 of these individual uh, compounds inside the cannabis plant. Um, most people are familiar with the major cannabinoids, uh, which are THC and CBD. These are individual chemical compounds that uh, are found in the plant in very high abundance, and they're very easy to extract uh, and to do research on. It's very inexpensive to extract it from the plant. So those have been researched for the last uh, 30, 40 years. The other cannabinoids, which are called rare cannabinoids, are in very, very small quantities of the plant. It's very difficult to extract them from the plant, and therefore they haven't been looked at very closely uh, in terms of their medical properties. So what InMed is doing is we are coming up with alternative manufacturing approaches so that we can make these, these compounds. We make them in a way that they're identical to what you find in the plant, uh, but yet we can do it at very low cost and thus uh, you know, facilitate a lot of research into their, their interactions with the human body. So that's your business model, but why the specific focus on rare cannabinoids? Well, we think that uh, number one, the cannabinoid class of compounds is relatively safe. Uh, number two, because the body produces its own cannabinoids, we are predisposed to having an interaction with these compounds. Uh, number three, a lot of these compounds have meaningful physiological benefit, uh, but we have to understand this by doing research in order to tweak out what the dosing needs to be and in which specific diseases they should be used. Um, and so we think there's a large <clears throat> uh, untapped potential in this class of compounds in terms of medical research. Now, the biggest news for the company in 2021 was the <clears throat> acquisition of Bay Medica. Can you give us a brief overview of why this makes sense <clears throat> for InMed and what the combined company looks like now? Sure. Well, Bay Medica is a manufacturer of, uh, of, of rare cannabinoids. They do a lot of work in terms of understanding how to make these things at a very large scale so that they can be made available uh, inexpensively. Currently, they have one that they're actually commercializing, and that is called CBC or cannabichromine. Uh, and they are selling this to people who manufacture products for the health and wellness space. So, for instance, they can take the CBC and put it into gummies or tinctures um, and then sell that into the health and wellness community uh, for its different uh, uh, properties. Uh, so what we're looking to do with Bay, the acquisition of Bay Medica is, number one, expand on that product offering uh, and launch a lot of new uh, high margin rare cannabinoids into the health and wellness space. Number two, uh, we have acquired uh, through Baymedica a extensive patent portfolio that involves not just the manufacturing of these rare cannabinoids, but also new cannabinoid analogs. So taking the natural molecules, modifying them slightly uh, in a way to better target them for disease. And those are all proprietary molecules. Uh, and three, we got an amazing team of individuals who have an extensive track record in biotech uh, and manufacturing research. Uh, so it was a very uh, natural fit for our company. Uh, both companies specialize in rare cannabinoids, uh, one in the health and wellness sector and InMed, of course, in the pharmaceutical sector. And we think it just makes sense to span these different uh, market opportunities for the company. So with this acquisition of Bay Medica, where does InMed fit into the manufacturing landscape for rare cannabinoids? And where do you think you've got a competitive advantage now? Sure. Well, with the combination of the companies, uh, we basically have all of the modern manufacturing technologies that are needed in order to meet specific demands in, in specific uh, market segments. Uh, for instance, on the pharmaceutical side, you have to make it at the highest standard, highest purity, um, and you know, track all of the constituents in the in the in the product uh, at the highest level, and so that's what Imed brings to the table is that kind of know-how for the pharmaceutical market. Bay Medica uh, has been specialized in the health and wellness space, which is a little bit lower standard, still still high, but a little bit lower than the pharma standard. Um, and they have been deploying different manufacturing techniques, such as chemical synthesis, yeast biosynthesis, 
Uh, and NMED has not only uh, bacterial biosynthesis, but a new approach called enzymatic biotransformation uh, or our Integrasyn system. So I think we're the only company uh, out there that can offer a full slate of these different manufacturing technologies. That's important because no one technology is going to be best for the whole you know, spectrum of different cannabinoids. Chemical synthesis might work best for one, biosynthesis might work best for another. So we, we now are in a position that I think is unique and as we can really pick and choose whatever the, the uh, lowest cost manufacturing technology is for any one of these different cannabinoids. So together you cover all the bases. Now your pharmaceutical pipeline is an integral part of InMed. Can you give us a bit of a status update there? Absolutely. So we are investigating the uh, therapeutic properties of a cannabinoid called cannabinol or CBN. And we're looking at two different areas where that, that individual molecule has shown to have promise in treating human disease. The first one is in dermatology. Uh, we're looking at a rare genetic skin disorder called epidermal lysis pilosa. Uh, it's a devastating disease. And what we're looking to do there is improve the symptomology. So things like itch, uh, things like pain, uh, wound healing, inflammation. We're looking to kind of uh, address that side of, of the, um, what the patient is going through. Uh, and, you know, currently these patients are using anywhere from five to 10 products uh, each day in order to mitigate these, these different symptoms. We think we can uh, mitigate several of them with, with one product, which would be a huge benefit and improvement in their care. So there's the dermatology side of things. We're also looking at ocular diseases. We're looking at glaucoma. And it's interesting because cannabinoids have this dual effect in terms of treating glaucoma. Number one, they can reduce the, the fluid buildup in the eye that causes this pressure. Um, and th that also can cause a lot of pain. Secondly, we can also protect the neurons uh, in the eye that are responsible for giving us vision. Um, so it's, a, it's kind of a two-pronged approach. Uh, the dermatology program, we're in phase two clinical trials right now treating patients. Uh, in the uh, ocular program, we are still preclinical. In about a year's time, we're looking to be uh, in the clinic with that product. And of course, for epidermolysis bullosa, it's a, it's a horrible, horrible disease and a real unmet need. Absolutely. And anything you can do to help that patient population is going to be very meaningful. So uh, we have high hopes for that product. Uh, you know, the phase two data will be out probably towards the end of the year. And we'll have a look to see how beneficial our product has been in that patient population. So you've mentioned one milestone, but what other milestones should investors be looking out for over the next six to 12 months? Well, number one, we're going to be launching a number of different uh, high value uh, rare cannabinoids into the health and wellness space uh, over the next several months. Uh, we recently launched a product called CBT, which is another rare cannabinoid. And that's we're going to follow on uh, with other ones that are much better known and in higher demand, including CBDV and THCV. Both of them are non-intoxicating cannabinoids that um, are going to find a, a nice home in that space. Secondly, we're going to continue to decrease the manufacturing cost uh, of those products through additional um, manufacturing research. And we think that's going to be important to be a long-term competitor in this space. As I mentioned, the, the um, uh, EB program is in phase two. We're going to continue to enroll and treat patients over the course of this year uh, and have a data readout at the end of the year. We'll be preparing the ocular program, the glaucoma program, uh, and uh, conducting the additional toxicology studies that are required prior to entering human clinical trials. We'll be doing that over the course of this year uh, and looking to file a uh, IND uh, to start human clinical trials uh, early in 2023. Uh, and as well, some of the other things that we'll be doing is continuing to build our patent portfolio uh, because we really want to protect the downstream commercialization of our technologies uh, by having very solid patent families around these individual technologies and products. Well, Eric, it sounds like you've got a really exciting year ahead of you at uh, InMed. Although last year, it has to be said, with Bay Medigrat position was a pretty exciting one too. So uh, I wish you all the best in 2022. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you very much.